Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 15, 2 Samuel 16 to 1 Kings chapter 9, from Shimei to Solomon's Navy. In 2 Samuel 16, how was David's treatment of Shimei a lesson of faith? What was Ahithophel's advice to Absalom? In 2 Samuel 17, what was Hushai's advice? What did Ahithophel do? Here's a different Jonathan, a priest's son. In 2 Samuel 18, what happened to Absalom in the forest of Ephraim? What was David's reaction to the news? In 2 Samuel 19, what was Joab's reaction? Why did David replace Joab with Amasar? How did the politics play out as each tried to gain an advantage in the new situation? In 2 Samuel 20, how did Joab regain his military station? In 2 Samuel 21, what did David do about the famine? Do we pray about everything? What was David's and the Gibeonites' solution to God's answer? In 2 Samuel 22, what did David's song mean, The Lord is my rock? Compare this with Psalm 18. According to Ellicott's commentary, a rock is a cliff from which to escape an enemy. And a horn was a description of a mountain peak for safety. In 2 Samuel 23, despite all of David's gross personal faults, he was a man of God. What hope does that give us? What can we learn from the loyalty of David's mighty men? In 2 Samuel 24, why was a census of Israel a sin? Do we also replace faith with numbers? How did God's choice of three punishments sound just like many parents? How is God moved by our prayers? In 1 Kings 1, who was Abishag? What did Adonijah, David's son, do? What did Bathsheba and Nathan the prophet do? What did Solomon do to Adonijah? In 1 Kings 2, what instructions did David give Solomon? What did Solomon do to firmly establish his throne? In 1 Kings 3, what good thing did Solomon ask of God? How did the story of the two prostitutes reveal the wisdom God had given him? In 1 Kings 4, what kind of reputation did Solomon have? In 1 Kings 5, what did Solomon begin preparation to build? In 1 Kings 6, how long is a cubit? Look it up. What was God's word to Solomon? If a cherub's wing was five cubits, how long was that? Was making carved cherubs, trees, and flowers idolatry, as some claim that making any likeness is? Why or why not? Would bowing down to an art figure make it idolatry? What about bowing down to a cross, as some do? In 1 Kings 7, how ornate were the temple fixtures? In 1 Kings 8, what are the Ten Commandments called? Which covenant were they? What relevance do they have to the New Covenant? What did the Apostle Paul call the law? In 1 Kings 9, what did God say to Solomon? What else had Solomon built? The Milo, or Milo, may have been a set of stone stairs. He also built a large merchant navy. Well, that's it for this time. Until next time, may God be with you.